Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blues Knot channel. Today I am heading to Avaya Stadium once again as we will be going there to watch a rare mid-season friendly match between the San Jose Earthquakes take on Club Leon, also known as the Landon Donovan Derby and also known as the Landon Donovan Reunion Game. Now, obviously, you know, this matchup has been really surrounded with how with the Quakes fan will greet Landon Donovan coming into this one but I think the big story and probably the one that hasn't been talked about is the fact that how will this team respond after they lost for the first time this season on the road against Sporting KC and how will this team prepare for that next match against NYCFC because I think this is a match that we really need to take it seriously I'm really hoping that Michael Starhe potentially could could start the strongest squad and maybe just kind of rotate trying to experiment with his squad because the next game against NYCFC is massive for us so yeah this is going to be an interesting kind of one but we're going to be finding out in just a couple of hours come and join me to see what happens So we got roughly about 45 minutes before the kickoff and I'm actually still walking to the stadium and the team have just been announced and there is a whole sale of changes from that Sporting KC game. First of all, Affilter is coming in as the center back row and basically the center back partnership for this game will be Affilter and Quantana, which will be a first. Uh, Salinas is not going to be playing this game, instead it's going to be... Uh, Joel Kuiper in that left back and then in the central defense mid it's going to be Aloshi and Youngworth in that central defense mid. I'm not quite sure why Aloshi is playing there. I'm not sure why Mikael Starhe doesn't put uh, Jackson Yu in there because I think that would have fit much better and then of course in the in the left wing position it's going to be Hika coming in with Ameriqua that will also be coming in as a striker, which means that there's going to be no Husin and no Vako in this game. So, yeah, that is a lot of changes that we are making. I was really hoping that at least we have majority of the starters in this game because I really felt like we should take this seriously. But instead, it looks like it's a it's a B squad against a Club Leon, which I'm assuming they'll probably also put a B squad. So, yeah, it should be very interesting to see how it goes and as for the prediction of the game and actually I'm not going to make a prediction because this is a friendly match um, I'm just really hoping that some of these guys that you know going to start in this that usually are on the bench will really kind of prove Michael Starhe that they deserve that starting role so yeah it's gonna be very interesting to see come on you quakes let's see what happened Hits it wide there. Just like that, they score. 
for him. Honestly, I, I don't know where the heck was the closing down there. There was just no closing down whatsoever in the 18-yard box, and just like that, it leads at one nothing. But it's offside. It is offside. Hey! hey! It is offside. Okay, well, we got away with one because there was a free header in the box. And yeah. halftime here, Club Leon 1, San Jose Earthquakes nothing. Um, the only positive from this match has to be the fact that we are playing our B squad and the fact that this is a friendly game. Other than that, it has been really poor from us. I mean, we are not clinical at all. We missed two sitters in literally the first 30 minutes and we give away a sloppy goal to none other than Landon Donovan. So yeah, I hope we definitely improve here in the second half. Uh, maybe give a couple of guys on the bench a chance because it's clear that some of our players that is out there is, should not be anywhere near this starting 11. So we shall see what happened here in the second half. Let's see if we can get an equalizer here in this friendly match. Roughly about an hour into this match, uh, Club Leon just made a substitution, but yeah, we have not looked any better in the second half. In fact, I think it has looking worse because we've been basically stuck in our own half for the last 10 minutes. Uh, but we do have a free kick here and we do have a chance to get some possession in the opponent half, but other than that, it's been pretty much the same. So we got a substitution here. Youngworth is coming off. Tommy Thompson is coming on alongside with Jackson Yu. And Quincy Ameriqua is also coming off for the Quakes. Probably the best chance we had there. And Tommy probably should have finished that there. It was a good pass. Comes across. Such a good one. It's right into Tommy Thompson. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's blocked. Oh! It is into Rosette. That's it. It is the phone time whistle. Alright guys, now we are just walking out of the stadium right now and in the end the Quakes lose one nothing in this game against Club Leon in a friendly. The good news is it is only a friendly so this game doesn't really matter in any way. Plus we were playing our B squad so yeah that probably is the only good news. 
but the bad news is it's pretty clear that this lineup that we put in tonight clearly did not work at all and I'm hoping that we will never have to get to that point where we had to use this kind of lineup. It's pretty clear that there are a couple of guys in this lineup. Guys like Ameriqua should be nowhere near this lineup at all but yeah overall we got to shake this loss off. We got to prepare for this huge massive game against NYCFC. I honestly don't know how in the world is this defense going to stop David Villa and company. I mean, it is going to be a really tough task, but we'll see how it goes in next week's game. I, of course, will be here. Um, it's also a rare afternoon game. It's also going to be national televised. So let's just hope that we don't get completely embarrassed on national television in the next game. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like, smash that subscribe button. And yeah, I, of course, will see you guys next time. And I'll see you guys next Saturday for that NYCFC game.